just just going on to to I looked to look to uh, some of the stuff with with you at Flamengo. Just switch it now, right? Because I know it's hard for him to sit here and yeah, talk about on. United like that. But you see, like when you went to Flamengo, and in the Copa Libertadores, you played in. The, oh yeah, you won it, didn't you? Yeah, they won it. Final. But the first in year, the first year we lost. Yeah, they lost it. You made a mistake in the final. Yeah, yeah which was like. What's the difference in the way that press and the media and fans react to a big mistake like that compared to in the UK Premier League? Because um, that's huge over there. Yeah, it was it was huge. Um, when it happened, I was having maybe I was the best player of, of the team and, and everyone was saying I had to go to the national team. And and in the final was my best game. I was playing my best game in the final. We didn't score. I don't know how. And, the, and then extra time goes and... and and there was no options in midfield and I gave an option. I received the ball and I slipped and the guy scored the goal. Mm. Straight after that, it was, you know, straight hell, you know. Um, I arrived back in Brazil. There were people, you know, on the bus trying to destroy the bus, trying to attack you at your house. Wow. We had to stop the bus early, get another car. And, and you know, the car that, that we drive there is not a normal car, is uh, how you say. Um, is um how you say uh military or undercover yeah, car yeah like bu yeah bulletproof uh, car what? so first when this happened I, I arrived at home i was like i cannot believe this happened say how is this possible so i was like in and they pulling up the santos interview as well now as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even care about that in this moment and they were like cannot believe this happened it was like a tragedy and Flamengo is like the biggest club in Brazil. They have like 42 million fans. So in Rio, I couldn't what? get out of my house. Wow. And we get an Arsenal. You know, it what? was magnitudes. <laughs> well, they've won a continental trophy. So Joel, calm yourself, all right? You could be playing for us one day, don't laugh. Don't laugh. And uh, <laughs> you know, it was it was not a nice time. I used to go to training, and 500 guys in front of the training ground. You know banging on my door and then trying to break the car and and then we played four days after we play santos home game and um the director called me and he said the manager is sacked the the director called me say you want to play i was like yeah i want to play Say, I'm not gonna be home crying. I, I want to play. I want to make it good. You say, yeah, but it doesn't work like this here. <laughs> like, what? like the defense, <laughs> they're gonna destroy you. They're gonna kill you. So, and I said, like, no, no, I want to play. I want to play. So, okay, that's fine. So you're gonna play. And uh, at this moment, my agent calling. It's almost January. You say, I think you have to go back. <laughs> you know, I was like, no, no, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. So I, I start, I, I start the game. I go on the pitch for the warm up and. Straight, they go like, I go out and they start to clap to me. And I was like, okay, okay, it's good. The captain goes, to, uh, Diego Hibas, the played in yeah. Atlético Madrid. Mm -hmm. He comes to me, oh, it's good. Okay, the fans are with you. It's strange, but let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, okay, I go, I go out on the pitch, five minutes in the game. I hear everyone in Portuguese, the whole stadium, 70,000 people, Andreas, fuck off. No way. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I have to keep the noise out and play. Wow. <laughs> so I finished the game, we draw, I played uh, okay game, got through it, but it was difficult, you know. I had holidays, I went back to my parents, um, you know, city, stayed there, um, but it was, bro, so difficult. Even on holiday, people were talking. Yeah, talking. People Did you win them back? Did you get them back on side? So when you, uh, next, the next yeah, season you yeah. stayed? Yeah, so I. So how, 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 when when do they start becoming positive and with you again? Support. It was the, um, like the first month we come back preseason. Uh, we play a game preseason. They were killing me, uh, and then they would say uh, I would get out of the team. I have to get out of the team. Then the the new manager comes in, feels the pressure, takes me out of the team, start losing games. Then he says, Andreas, I need you. Put me back in the team and. I score in the derby against Fluminense. I, I do assist 1-1 one, one and score the 2-1. Since mm -hmm. then, like a lot of them just shushes down. Mm -hmm. And then it goes better and better. And then a new manager came come in, was Dorival, that's the national team coach. Comes in and he said, Andreas, forget everything and just play relaxed. And it took like, honestly, like, like 
30 kg of my shoulders. I was, <laughs> wow. I was like light. So you need a manager sometimes to release pressure for you somehow. Yeah, and it was, you know, uh, the first game he came in, the first game I scored, playing unbelievable. And then after we played uh, Libertadores, I scored a goal in a away game and they went and they won it. So it was, you know, for me, it was from heaven to hell and back to heaven. So it mm. was crazy and nobody, First of all, they, everyone said, you're gonna go to Brazil, you're gonna stay there. So I went to Brazil, um, I played really well. I did, you know, one of the biggest mistake, I would say in the final for the club. But after that, we won it again. And I'm back in Europe playing in the Premier League. So- mm. um, Strong character, man. So it's, it's yeah, it's good. I don't really get faced too quickly. Mm. So played in Brazil, played in England, played in Italy, played in Spain. Where do you enjoy playing the most? Enjoy with the national team. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. No, the Premier League. Uh, the Premier League is the best. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, before, cause just before you go, back to pressure. Mm. Because obviously at United, we see a lot of players. Part of it is, is pressure from media, social media now. How big of an impact is that? We see the likes of, I don't know, Rashford now getting big, big pressure. Maguire getting massive pressure. How di how difficult must it be for those guys? Have you spoken to? I don't them? think it's going to be as difficult as what he just. Oh, that's my point. Like, no, these guys are under pressure, but this pressure is different. That's even another level. Bulletproof vans and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's you know they've been they're under pressure, and I know Rashi very well, and you know Rashi is for this kind of pressure. Of course, it's never nice to to feel this pressure. Of of course, um, from from everyone here, but. But you know his his mentality is is top, you know, and he's an amazing player. So I don't think um, it helps him. But he's not really uh, care too much about the pressure. I think, mm. and I think Maguire has been um, a little bit unfair the pressure on him. You know, uh, he's for me when he came in the first game. I don't think you remember against Chelsea. First mm. game he started, we went four zero. He was amazing he was, man of the match. Yeah, he was yeah. unbelievable, and. We, and this shows that it's the confidence. If you put confidence in him, he's, he can be this player, you know, and, and, and he's shown it a lot of times, but people stay with the image and they always say like, oh, you know, he's doing a mistake or he will do a mistake, you know, and then mm. this doesn't help him. And I, th and I think, you know, the English fans and, you know, he's, a, he's, he's like one of your own. He's, he's different, he's, he's a foreign player. Like I'm in Brazil, I'm a Brazilian player, so they protect a little bit more. Mm. So I, I would say like they have to protect him a little bit more, you know. Mm. Go on, what you gonna say? I can't remember. No, no, I, I agree. I think it's difficult. I think social media now is so much yeah. more difficult for the players because he's never off. No. You finish a game, it's always still something coming through in the in the tweets or in the face in Instagram and stuff like that. It's difficult, man. But you know, but they really, really like it over there, man. They're so they we speak to one on a weekly mm. and they just can't stop talking about full and fun. performances. Full Jack, yeah, yeah. Especially Jack. Um, How are you enjoying like, it though? Yeah. Like, because obviously like, you, you, when you're in Flamengo, you don't expect, listen, I'm going to go to Fulham next year. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. a bit of a crazy one out of, out of all due respect and you go there. How have you found your time there? Because I think that when I've seen you and people ask me, oh, that, that, Pereira, did you say, so, you know what? He hasn't surprised me in his ability. No, he, I always knew the ability was high level ability. It was just whether the other side of the game, working hard, closing down, being more aggressive, mm -hmm. tactical mm -hmm. element of the game. And you've just put that all together now and you look like a really mature player who knows exactly what it is, but you look like you're enjoying football. Yeah, I enjoy it a lot, especially, you know, uh, I think a big part of that is, is the manager, is Marco, you know. He called me and he said, um, I think you have a point to prove in the Premier League, you know, uh, because here you didn't show your quality um, and I want you to, to come and show it here for, for me and for Fulham. And so he gave me the opportunity. That's why, like you said, uh, I was going to go back to United and, and maybe see what's going to happen. And when he gave me this opportunity, I was like, OK, I want to play, you know. I want what's to what's play. he saying to you? Is he, give, is he like, listen, I'll give you a you know, free role in my team or the loose player maybe to give you that freedom to go and create? Because the amount of creativity that you show in the team now you must have been given some freedom. Yeah, he gives me freedom. Um, he tells me only the defensive part to do, and and with the ball, really, he just he he tells me what to do. Like for example, he, 
I have to create, I have to be always in the box, something I'm, I'm working on a lot with him because I'm, I'm the type of player that I, I didn't get a lot in the box. I would make the play nicer for my teammates. And watch, watch the box. Yeah, and watch yeah, yeah. the box, maybe it drops out and you yeah. know hit from outside because I, I don't really like to score tap-ins. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why, but uh, no, he really gets, you know, this side of me like improving. So for me, really, it's been, you know, very, very important for me. It's mad, isn't it? Even a top player, place for Brazil, still need a manager to get little things out of you and to improve your game like that. It's really well, important. And confidence has to come from playing regular as well. I mean, that's got to be one of the most difficult things for a young player is, is that, I think sometimes it's a desperation. You know you're going to get one chance in five weeks. So you, you don't relax when you play and that makes you a worse player when you play. You play a little bit rushed or you feel like, I've got to do something spectacular. Press, yeah. yeah, I've got to do something. Whereas your natural game, if you knew you're going to play next week, probably, you know, unless you have a bad game, you're probably going to play the week after. You probably you, Your place is probably secure, so you relax and I think you play better when you relax. Yeah, it's, it's totally true. And, and even... If you know you go, you can have a bad game, everyone mm. has a bad day, so it doesn't matter if you have a bad game and you're not like ah oh, stressing like ah oh, I'm out of the team like ah mm. oh, I have to do good and that's like you say you get stressed, you don't sometimes the the decision making you do wrong, and you know when when a manager gives you confidence and it happens as well in in other teams you know if the manager give you confidence in a player you see he shines a lot more. Mm. I'm just to ask you about a couple of players, Paulinho. Bayern Munich were interested in in the last window. It didn't happen. How good is that guy? You know, um, he, he's amazing. Like I play, I know that I can risk a lot of passes because if something doesn't come off well, he always gets the ball back. You know, he's amazing. <laughs> he's a monster in, in training. I have to watch out. He don't ta he tackles everyone, and you know, it, it's just he covers so much ground for for us and. It makes for me, you know, my job a lot easier. Mm. So you're gonna keep hold of him? I think it's difficult. Um, I think it's very difficult. Yeah. I'd love many United shirt. Oh, oh, that's that's exactly what we need. You, know. you just go through some Brazilian players. There's got like, a few in it. Well, well obviously they got Nunes. No, no, but I'm talking like for you, like the players you've played with in Brazil, because I think the Brazil are one of them teams that everyone always looks at and goes, "Raw fantasy." Like when you growing up, you will remember the Ronaldo's, Ronaldinho's, Rivaldo's, etc. Like in the play teams that you've played in, who are the big players you've walked in and gone? Hey, I knew you were good, but whoa! When I was training with you and playing now, a different level. So it was the first time I went to national team was Neymar. Was Oof. I know he was good, but I played against him. But in training, it, it's it's another level. Like it's it's crazy. Is he just tricks? Just embarrassing people? No, not embarrassing. Just you couldn't get close to him. You get the ball from the goalkeeper and you, you would dribble everyone. And, <laughs> and you you cannot even grab him or it's it's like it's crazy. And people are trying to like kick him and it's impossible. Really? Mm. They're trying in a match? I'm, yeah. I thought the coach would be like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you, you <laughs> try to, but then you, you can see the goal, you can see the second goal. You want to show you, you yeah, want to you got defenders like Marquinhos yeah. and that. Yeah. They're not going to allow you just to run through. Like Casemiro and yeah. they wanted to kill him and you cannot get close <laughs> to him you know it's, it's and That's then you, you get even more embarrassed because you want to get close to him and you cannot you know so and then after now that I went now it was Rodrigo and Vinicius Junior it's amazing players We've got to just break them down the Rodrigo because we get this guy other people like we're talking about great wide players in the game yeah. and Rodrigo for me I sat with Casemiro for coffee a couple of years when he first signed. And that was, I said to him, how good's Vin Vinicius? How good's Rodrigo? He said, Rodrigo, big game, he starts as he scores. Do you know what I mean? How, what, talk, talk me through the, the differences of those players. So I would say Rodrigo is more, um, he can play like as a number 10, right wing, left wing, false nine. He played, he played the two games in the national team as a false nine. He's just so smooth you know with everything like you cannot put pressure on him he turns right he turns left um and the difference between him and and vini i think vini is you know so explode he can change he can score the goal in one second you know like he can maybe lose a ball and he looks like oh, he's tired and boom it's a, it's a goal so he's more like explosive fast so the combine that they have both together is mm -hmm. just you know 
um, to play with them, it's it's you know it's easy for me. You know, I I can do a misplaced pass and and it becomes still, a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. still a good one. Yeah, it's crazy because uh, we I was having a debate with my friends and I do rate Rodrigo. I think he's. I think There's a bot coming here, isn't there? Yeah, but I, I, I but do, what? I do, but I, I as an Arsenal you fan, think Saka's better. I think I think Saka. Maybe not this season. I think this season. Oh, Rodrigo, but he's tired. What do you think? <laughs> no, I think, no, he's not the better. No, Rodrigo. I think from Saka, Real Madrid. You're yeah, talking. <laughs> well, there's only one, right? <laughs> there's only one that we're talking about here. No, Rodrigo is good. Man. Yeah. He won Champions League. No, no, we're not talking about what they've won. There's, yeah, because you lose every argument when that comes up, don't you? Yeah. No, Go on, let him put his case forward. Live on who you're saying to this guy here. He's played with him. It's not what he's won. I just think we've even got Archie on the buttons behind there. I, I think when, if you look at Saka, his experience, um, stats, played at internationally high level. Obviously, he hasn't had the chance to play in the Champions League as much as Rodrigo. He's a killer. I think Rodrigo's just about really becoming a starter now for Real Madrid this season properly. Yeah. yeah. Your opinion is different. My opinion <laughs> is different. It's one way of saying it. <laughs> no, I think, I think no, I, I, I like Saka a lot. He's an amazing player. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, Rodrigo, he can play in all the positions, you know, and, and he, he's playing for Real Madrid. Real Madrid, I would say, one of the biggest clubs in the world right now. And I don't <laughs> think Arsenal, you know, why did you have to bring Saka to the argument? No, because Why? it was a discussion that we were it? having the other day. It I'm sure that was it intellectually was, high. It wasn't. No, I just thought, look, we've got a guy that's played with Rodrigo. I think that he's the best person to ask him. I've met Saka, so Rodrigo, sense. Rodrigo is proper man. Yeah, yeah? Rodrigo's a proper player. Okay, well, we'll see. They're both near enough the same age. We'll I love Saka. No, for, all, for all the laughs that we have, I yeah. love Saka. Yeah, like, I think he's a, a, a ridiculous player. I think he for Arsenal, he's the guy they go to. If they want goals, yeah. they go to him. Um, when you're when it's fair to ask, then when you are playing against Arsenal, for example, are there particular players that you focus on? Obviously, what what would like a team talk be to play against Saka? I know that that's not really your role, but no, of course we speak about when we play against Arsenal. We know that. Um, Saka is the main one, like Rio said, he scores a lot of goals, you cannot give him space. Uh, but you have to cover the space around him because, you know, he can push the ball and, and just run past you. And he's if you go too close, he's strong as well, so he can turn you. So mm -hmm. it's difficult. So you always need a midfielder to cover, like mm -hmm. behind the left back or be close at the left back. But when you do this, you lose a guy in midfield. So mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult uh, and that's why um, you know, us at, at we played at a counter attack against them. Mm -hmm. uh, it worked quite well. Yeah, we saw. <laughs> <laughs> we saw. No, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, they have a fantastic team. And it's difficult if you have like Saka and Martinelli. Oh, and that's like, another one right there, yeah. isn't it? So they're amazing players. So it's not mm -hmm. only one you have to take care. You have to take care of both. So mm -hmm. you, you know, you know, Brazil. Just of my last question, I think is that what what can Brazil do in the next? Next competition. What? What? They say it's a different Brazil now that we're seeing transition of players. Um, Vinicius Junior has now become one of the main players. You know, Marquinhos' experience, Casemiro's experience, but a lot of young players. W where can you get to, and who's going to be really important for you? I think. I think now um, the time. It's it's different. It's a different Brazilian national team. It's. Um, we are in the transition, of course. Um, Ney is still injured, you know, Neymar, and uh, when he comes back, he will help the team a lot. And um, we have Vini, like you said, you know, won the Champions League with Real Madrid, he's, mm. he's, he's the star. And Rodrigo, and you know, we have players coming through, Endrick. Mm. Uh, oh, how good is this guy? What, what is going on? You must have so you've seen him close up. What's, what's, what is he? What could this guy be? Um, He's taking iconic pictures already. <laughs> it's I don't know the English word in Brazil. We have a word. It's illuminado. It's you know when when uh, a lot of people are about to be born and God say this is the one. <laughs> 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 He's like that. Yeah. In training, you shoot the crossbar balls in his feet. Boom goal. Uh, 
ricochet ball in his feet goal like it's amazing always in the right place and he wants to improve he wants to learn he's a monster Real Madrid just dropped a fat yeah. wedge on him at, at yeah. like 15 didn't he it was like mm -mm, that's ours but he's, he's winning like leagues already like he's 16 years old like whatever he is he's like he's a joke like, yeah. Arsenal want to know every kid that comes through there is a star boy that's yeah, yeah. your star boy Hendrik is different I speaking forgot about, about him speaking about other star boys um, someone like Kobe Mane who you you obviously you put, would have been watching at United um, What's your thoughts on him when you, 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 obviously that's someone that's come through the academy, you know what that's like. Um, what is it that's making him play so well? I think he looks like um, he's very down to earth, you know, he's very calm. He can have a very good game, he can have a normal game and you, you see him, he's always the same guy, you know, he, he doesn't look like he he gets faced by anything, by, by the press or by the fans. He's just always calm, he's doing his job and I think that if if the, the the press and 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 the club and everyone just leave him don't put too much pressure on him and let him play let him get better and he will he will be ama he's already amazing he will be even more you know it's funny that you say pressure is that something that you felt too much before you left or no not really um because when i was playing at at, at united i was playing um of course not in the position i would would love to play but i was still playing so it was not pressure. I was just not performing the way I wanted. It was not, um, I cannot say, you know, have an excuse, it's the pressure or I was not this or that. I was not maybe ready to play in that moment in, in that team. And maybe I am now, you know, so mm -hmm. that's, that's things that you have to accept. And sometimes the things don't fall right in the, in the right time. And I'm not, not afraid to, to say that, uh, you know, it was not the right time to play. Is, is, sorry, is Champions League football something in your head that you say, you know, I, I want to get back there one day? Yeah, for sure. I want to I want to be there and play and, you know, compete in, in the Champions League among the best, for sure. That's in my head, yeah. Mm. You don't and, want to come back to United then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be hearing that theme tune for a bit, I don't think. <laughs> and, even, and even at Fulham, for example, uh, I know, just ignore him. We, we, we just ignore him. Uh, what? Even, even <laughs> You have to get that, oh, oh whatever that <laughs> shite is. Kidding. Anyway, um, even at, for example, Fulham, what are the aspirations? Because you're 12, like I'm speaking to, to Jack, who is, is our friend, Fulham fan. He, you know, people like him, they want to know, like, are you aspiring for Europe? Because you've, you've performed so well this season. What are you going for? Yeah, I think we have to we have to be a little bit more consistent. Um, you know, the way games were not so consistent as at home games. At home games we can really do damage. You know, to all the all the teams, but away games that has been you know our problem. But I think, you know, after Fulham been, uh, they told me like seven seasons up and down. Um, mm -hmm. You know, now the second season staying in the Premier League. It's true. I think this this helps to get you know build another season and and really cement, you know, from the 10 position up to, to make a chance. You know? mm. I don't think they got the depth for Europe just yet. I think they got to add a bit more quality of depth. I think the starting 11's decent and you obviously you play really well at the moment, but I think once you start getting them European games, you've got to have, you need a bigger squad. Mm. Absolutely surprised me this season. I mean, you, even players like Alex Awobi and, you know, that we know well, like it, Honestly, you've done really well. Mm. I thought it's going to be, I thought last season I'd said, ah, it's not going to, it's going to be hard for them. Then you did well. Then I thought, nah, this season it's going to be, different. it's like, like yeah. you said, you're getting more Solid. and more consistent. Solid. So, yeah. well done. Marco's, 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 Marco's quality Marco's manager. Yeah. Marco's My manager's top, top. Yeah. But I just want to say thanks, man. I appreciate you coming. It's busy. This is a busy time of the yeah. season for Before these you guys. Who's going to win the Champions so. League? Real Madrid. Ooh. Is that Brazilian friends or? Brazilian friend, no. I think the shirt is heavy, you know. Is there is there a tournament? We also don't want City to win it, do we? So, mm, good shout. We'll take good that. shout. We'll I mean, take if that. we beat Bayern, shut up, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyway, we'll leave it as that. Thank you very much for coming on. Really appreciate it. And guys, please make sure you keep on watching all of our videos on Five. We will be back with more amazing videos. Myself. Joel Bayer, Stephen House, and Rio Ferdinand, and Mr. Andres Pereira. Thank you very much for coming, man. Thank you, man. See you soon. Peace. Top man, mate. Good to see you, Cheers, man. Mate. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. <laughs>